Hey guys, back for another jewelry unboxing video. And I finally got my hands on Thread Up Jewelry Box. I got three of them. They are the 15 piece mixed lot, 15 pieces for $54. So I'm talking about $3.50 or so per piece. My helper and I are going to show you what 15 pieces I got. Okay, here we go. This box is from Suwannee, Georgia. And again, it's $54 for 15 pieces. All nicely packed. Rip in there. I, I can jump on that. Here we go. Item number one. What is it today? Go pull your chair up, we'll go by the chimney. And then that way. Can't get it out. Let's see. Can I hold it? Let Trini open this one and then she'll let you see it after. What do we have? To open and close bracelet today. It we is. Can't. It's a clamper. We it says KJL. KJL. Okay, that's a good one. Now let me have it. That it's up might for today. Be my money maker for the box. There you can see it. Is that a KJL bag too? Does it say? This has a magnet today. Oh. Alexis Batar bag and a KJL <laughs> bracelet. Oh, tell me it's Alexis Batar. What's this? We have this. Yay. First two pieces she pulled out should make my money back on the box. So yay. Now, I'm happy. it's another one that little has little. a magnet. Okay, put that in there and go on to the next one. We are just We'll show them off closer once we get them all out of the box. Next up. Now what we have today. Today. Hey, I just say today. Mm -hmm. Camera's rolling. Okay. We've got another bag. What's it on the outside? Oh, Tiggy. No, no. Not while the camera's going. Just popping it says, my packing material. Kate Spade, New York. All right, I like Kate Spade. Let's see what's in there. Sometimes the item inside the bag is not does not go with the bag. So, but I think that is Kate Spade. What's it say on its little thing? It says Kate Spade, New York. Awesome. Pull it up against you. Super fun. Now, Cute. now let's hear today, folks. All right, next up, pass that one over to Tiggy to see. Today it has little beads hanging out. What could be better than this? Ooh, this one has multiple pieces, so these are not the money makers I'm getting. Ooh, sparkle and shiny. Ooh. What do we have A today? Very ginormous. Thing. Oh, nice. It's a necklace. Heavy. Wow. Yeah. What can we yeah, have it's heavy. today? Individually knotted. That's good quality when it has a knot in between each bead. They do that so if the now, necklace breaks, it's very heavy. Mm -hmm. It is actually heavy. Oh, this is heavy. Unmarked. This we, is heavy. Oh, wow. Cool. What do we have today? It's something awesome. Chain. I see a dangle on this end. Oh, I see one here. It says. Banana. Banana. Maybe get some toast. Hold oh, that one up like you're Daddy. wearing it. Toast. Hey, Very toast. pretty. Let me have it. Pass it on to the little one. I think there's one more piece well, in here. Well, it's heavy. What can we see? This book. 
And Taylor Loft, Whoa, maybe. We can't have it. J. Crew. Crew. Yay! Pretty oh, common. That one awesome. will sell, but not for much. No, for me. Okay, on to the next one. I see a star. And there's just one more little pack in here. Silver plated, but they are silver tone, but it's got a rose gold tint to the right thing. Very pretty. Giant now, let me star see the, earrings. Let me see the stars. Up close. Cool. Let me see the stars. Past stars. J. Crew earrings. Ooh. Zoom in. Pretty. Now, over me. Wow. Look like Chico's or Leo Sophia or something. Oh, maybe. wow. What do we have today? No marks on the back that I can see. Pass them over and to what me, are the last ones? Just a second, Tiggy. But I'm on the soap. I'm on the Tiggy. Super sparkly, pretty. Yeah, going over the blue. It's, it's like blue, skin. yellow, pink. They've got three different colors on the leaves. Cool. Look See any missing this. stones in there? I'm going over the rainbow. Nope. They have holes through the... Oh, it does have a mark. Let's see what that says. Uh, we are going over the rainbow. Nine, two, five. Not over. Fast something? Can we see? Have to yeah. get my loop out and investigate that, but those look yeah. like nice. Blue. Quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The holes in the yeah. back are another sign of quality because that lets the light shine through the stones and make them sparkle. Ooh, pretty. Okay, there's just one more little bundle in here. All right. Uh, come on, money. Come on, money. Come on, money. Can't be money. <laughs> it can't be money. It would be really nice if they just put a bundle of money in there. No, mm. not money. Okay. That doesn't say anything. Pretty mother of pearl, unbranded or unsigned necklace. Okay. Leather tassel. This must be my unbranded bunch, but this is kind of cool. It's a little older. Intriguing. Wait. Loft. Up oh, there we have an Ann Taylor loft piece with a long chain tassel at the bottom. Cool. Last piece, I think. Coming out. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's big. Okay. It is pretty cool. Bye. Looks like a bunch of genuine gemstones. Wait, wait, wait. I see amethyst and jasper and turquoise. A couple different kinds What's this of red quartz. One? Um, oh, looks like dyed something. What about this one? Maybe. Some of them might be just glass mixed in there. Uh, definitely a lot of genuine Give gemstones there. Okay. I don't see any clasp or any branding on that. But very pretty. We'll lay these out and give you a closer look at everything. Wave, girlies. Hi. Hello. 
All right, so there were exactly 15 pieces, which is what they promise. The pieces I have up front here are the ones that I am more likely to list individually on my own. The four pieces at the back I may throw up for sale at my booth or um, throw in a lot. I'm not sure. But for the big dollar pieces, I have the Kate Spade New York necklace. I think I can get a minimum of $25 for that. I'll probably aim higher. It's pretty cool, pretty chunky and hefty. I didn't see the exact one when I did a basic search, but definitely the chunkier statement pieces go for a little more. So the KJL, I will get a minimum of about $30 for. And I'll probably list it around $45 and see what happens. Uh, the Alexis Batar, I'll probably get a minimum of 20 to 25 for, but I will definitely list it a little higher also. These were FAS uh, Thailand and Sterling Silver with lots of pretty little sparkly different colored rhinestones. I have not tested them, not sure what they are, but it looks like I'll get a minimum of 25 to 30 dollars for those earrings. Those are my big dollar pieces. Um, this I'll probably sell for 15 to 20 bucks. These I'll put up just because they're unique and they'll sell pretty quickly, but not for more than six to eight dollars plus shipping. These will also be in the six to eight dollar range. This necklace probably in the 15 to 20 dollar range, uh, six to eight dollars on the J. Crew earrings. The faux pearls, it's a nice substantial strand. They are definitely faux, but they're very nice quality. Probably put those up around $20. And then the Banana Republic necklace, probably in the $15 area. So I think I'll be able to make back my money plus maybe $70 to $100. Not bad. And I have two more to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back for more.